It happens often when you load up your data into Power Query within Power BI, you find that the date column in your data is stored as a text format. Now, if you're lucky, you can just click on this formatting option and then click on date and everything will convert into date. However, sometimes you get something like this, which says date format error. We couldn't pass the input provided as a date value. Now, how can you resolve this error? Now, that is exactly what we're going to learn today. I'm going to explain a couple of options that we have in these cases so that you become much more equipped in handling date formatting issues in future. So let's go. All right, so for today's exercise, the data that we're going to use is a uh, data that I downloaded from the US data repository. And the link will be in the description in case you want to download the data. This data talks about the vehicle crashes that happened in USA in a particular period of time and contains a couple of columns related to crash dates, a uh, number of people who were injured in those crashes and the vehicles which were involved. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to import this data into Power BI and try to transform this data in Power Query. Okay. So I'm going to open up Power BI now and within Power BI, I'm going to click on get data. And because this data is in a CSV format, I'm going to choose text CSV connect. I'm going to choose the data. This is giving me a preview. Now, instead of loading, I'm just going to click on transform data. And now once we have this data in Power Query, I'm going to do some basic transformations. The first thing that you usually do in transformation is check the data type of your columns and instantly I see a problem here. If you see the crash date column is stored in a text format, which is mentioned here as ABC, I need to convert this into a date format. The simplest method that you can choose is obviously click on this button here and choose date. I'm going to add a new step and it has converted. However, if you see now I've got errors in couple of row items. The reason for this error is because the initial date, the date in the first row is stored in a different format. If you see, it says 09-11-2021, but the next date says 03 forward slash 26 forward slash 2022. So the format of both of these entries are different. And that is why this error is coming up. Okay. And if I show you the error once more, The error says data format error. We couldn't pass the input provided as a date value. So Power BI is not able to recognize the values as a date. And in your case, the error might be happening because of a different reason. Maybe the setting in your computer is in a DD MMYF format and the data stored is in a MMDD5 format. That can also happen, right? So we're going to discuss a couple of scenarios here and methods which we can use to resolve those scenarios. So the first scenario is we're going to assume that this crash date column, the entire column is stored in a MMDD YY format. Okay. The only difference in these rows are just the forward slashes and the hyphens. So if that's the case, then what you can do is let's go and insert a new column because we always try to not disturb the original draw data because you might require that draw data in future. So instead of making any changes to your existing column, we can add a new column and I'm going to say custom column. Let's call this crash date new. Okay. And now we're going to simply apply a formatting forcefully on this column using M query. And to do that, the function is called date dot from text. So I'm going to use date dot from text. Okay. Ensure that you follow the syntax exactly because this is case sensitive. I'm going to use the crash date column here as a reference. And I'm going to apply a formatting here to apply a format. You just open a square bracket, write format. And then inside double quotes, write the format as MMDDYY format. Okay. 
But remember, while you're writing your format, the mm should be in capital. If this is in small, then this will not work. So mm forward slash dd y y y. So if you notice the date and the year formatting is in small letters, but the month is in capital letters. I'm going to close the brackets here and press OK. So now what I can do is I can just click on this formatting option and click on date. Now it has converted those values into a date successfully. Now let's discuss one more scenario. So let's say the dates which are stored in a table are not saved in the same format. So let's say the first row is saved in a DDMMYY format and the second one is stored in an MMDDYY format. So in that case, what can you do? So in this case, let's try another approach. I'm going to add one more column here. I'm going to call this crash date new one. Okay. And in this, I'm going to use a slightly different formula. I'm going to say date dot from text. However, inside of this parenthesis, I'm not going to directly use the crash date column. Instead, I'm going to split that crash date column. Okay. And in order to split, if you work with Excel, you might know that we have a couple of formulas in Excel, which helps us extract text strings from an existing string using left, mid and right. Now Power BI M query also has a similar functionality, but the function is slightly different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use text dot start for left text dot middle for mid and text dot end for right. Okay. So I'm going to use all three formulas to construct a date format here and then use that into our date from text. Okay. So let's say text dot start and then I'm going to use the crash date. Now remember to capitalize the T and S here. Otherwise it will give me an error. And then I need two characters from the start, write an ampersand sign hyphen in between. And then I'm going to write text dot middle. Again, use the crash date column. Now this time I want the start position as three and I'm going to use two characters from there. So I'm going to write three comma two. Okay. Again, an ampersand sign hyphen ampersand. Now I can write text dot end, which is for getting the characters from the right hand side of your string. Again, use the crash date column. And this time I'm just going to pick up four characters from right. Okay. Close the brackets and press OK. Now, if you notice, it will give me a couple of errors in a couple of row items. That is because the entries where we had forward slashes, it was not able to convert those entries into a date. Again, the reason might be different. Uh, either the dates stored in those were in a different format like MMDDYY format or the delimiter used within those dates were different. Okay. So whatever might be the reason, this is how you can resolve this. Now, in order for us to rectify those errors within this M query, we need to first capture those row items where the errors are coming and apply some other function over those error values. There's a function in M query, which is known as try and otherwise. This is similar to your if error in Excel. So what you have to do is you just have to write try here at the top. Okay. So it's going to try this formula first. Okay. And wherever it finds an error, it will come to an second clause, which is, which will be inside your otherwise clause. Okay. I'm going to copy paste this entire thing into this otherwise. And this time what I'm going to do is cut paste this middle portion here and enter it in the front. So what this is saying is first try to convert the date in a DDMMYY format. If this gives an error, then convert the date in an MMDDYY format. Okay. And if I press OK, if you notice all the errors are gone. Now I can go ahead and convert this into a date column. 
Also, we can use the same try and otherwise functionality in this type of formula as well. So you can just try with an MMDD Viber format first and then write an otherwise clause and choose a different format in that otherwise clause. So this is how you handle the date conversion error within Power BI. Now let me know in the comment section if I have missed any other method which can be used to convert dates or resolve this date error conversion. I'll be happy to learn that. And in case you're liking this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you do not miss any content that I upload. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.